it's easier to get response from this dimension. How empty you are, that strongly you feel it. Most touched by this grace will naturally rise in ways that other people will think is miraculous. For a logical mind, in many ways, Bhairavi is more appealing because there is a little transaction. We are opening up certain possibilities of sadhana. Men also are getting into Devi sadhana. <laughs> this is popular. What is the significance of the feminine as a dimension? Well, uh, you were given birth by a feminine entity. This worship of the feminine. One important thing that you need to understand is, feminine is not a gender, it is a dimension. The significance of this dimension is, it's easier to get response from this dimension than the other dimension that we consider as masculine, because it is designed in a different way. It's not about which is better than which, there's no such thing, it's just different. So feminine is a dimension, not a gender. There are uh, fantastic examples. One more recent example is Ramanujam. All of you have heard of him, a mathematician. There was also a movie about him a few years ago, of how Ramanujam poured out mathematics, very complex mathematical formulae, to a point where in early twentieth century when there was no concept of black holes, he kind of created mathematics describing black holes. When people asked him, where is this coming from? Simply notebooks and notebooks of math he just poured out. Sitting on his deathbed, he died very early unfortunately. He said, my Devi, my goddess pleads mathematics, one who attains to the grace of the Devi, whatever you're doing in your life, you may be a business person, you may be a professional in something, you may be an artist, a musician, a yogi, whatever you are, if you want to pitch up your activity to another dimension of doing things, you need Devi's grace, one who is touched by this grace will naturally rise in ways that other people will think is miraculous. This has happened to many people, I must tell you this. There have been significant men in the world in the last two centuries who have risen to great heights in whatever they were doing because in some way they were in feminine worship because articulation and when I say articulation, not just verbal articulation, articulation essentially means you're able to find expression. If you want to find expression in the world, you need Devi's grace. Whether you do it by chanting a mantra, whether you do it by going to a temple, or whether you do it by acknowledging that dimension within yourself, or whether you do it by looking up to something that is feminine or simply by being in nature. It doesn't matter how you do it, but that dimension that we refer to as feminine, when it yields to you, your articulation or your expression in the world will find tremendous enhancement. Uh, as far as I am concerned, she's a living entity for me and she is like that for many people. So what should I do? Don't have to do anything. If there is not much of you, you will feel the presence of what is not you.
If there is too much of you, you won't feel anything, anywhere, not just here, anywhere. The problem with most people is, they are already imagining something, don't imagine anything. Imagination is not good for experience. You are imagining something, imagination will feel pleasant for some time. If it goes out of control, you will go nuts. Experience is different, experience transforms life. Imagination, you can go to heaven in two minutes and come back and you're in the same place. Real life experience, physically manifest experience, it's very much possible. So devotion, not because you're singing for her, you're loving her, she'll appear. She's always there. It is just that with the devotion you're trying to wear yourself down. Who you are is becoming less and less as your devotion overflows. She doesn't care whether you're devoted or not. So the question is not your devotion. Your devotion has nothing to do with her. Your devotion has something to do with you. If you're devote, there's not much of you left. If you're absolutely in devotion, nothing of you will be left. If nothing of you is left, she will be strong as real as the morning sunlight. If you don't get the morning sunlight, if you're the kind who misses it, do you come for sadhana every day? She is as clear as that. Only thing is for you to feel it, this must be empty. How empty you are, that strongly you feel it. So your devotion is not about Devi. Your devotion is about dissolving yourself. A simple yet very powerful spiritual process is being designed by Sadhguru, that is the nine days guided Navratri sadhana, which is being offered online for anyone willing to receive Devi's grace. The sadhana is open for all, so just participate together with your friends and families. You can even participate online from the comfort of your zone. This online guided sadhana sessions will be offered daily for 9 days from 15th October to 23rd October 2023. The timings are for English sessions, it's 7.45 pm to 8.45 pm. For Tamil, it is 11.30 am to 12.30 pm. And for Hindi, it is 6.30 pm to 7.30 pm. Now this link to a daily streaming video will be accessible for 24 hours in sadguru.org website. I'll just give the link in the description. So just click on the join button to join the sadhana. In case you are unable to attend the guided sessions, link will be active for 24 hours. You can do the sadhana at your own at any time of the day. Now there are very simple and yet certain guidelines to create a very conducive ambience for the sadhana. Now first is a light Stomach condition is more conducive for Devi's sadhana. It is best to leave a 2 hours gap after the full meal. It is supportive for you to light the lamp during the sadhana. It is best to sit in the cross legs posture for the sadhana. And if it is not possible for certain people, you can sit on the chair with the right ankle crossed over the left. Ladies can even perform the sadhana if they are on their period days. Now, most important is chant the Linga Bhairavi Stuti 3, 6, 9 or 11 times. I have given the link in the description, you can just go and download the Linga Bhairavi Stuti. It is best to chant 11 cycles of the Stuti daily. One cycle is the recitation of 33 names of Devi. When chanted with devotion, one becomes available to Devi's grace. So it is very very important, just involve yourself full of devotion to do this Navratri sadhana. Now many of them ask that can we split the 11 cycles of Stuti chanting 5 in the morning and 6 in the evening. Now you should remember that you have not to do this. One should not split the cycles of the Stuti. The Linga Bhairavi Stuti can be chanted only 3, 6, 9 or 11 times all at once. You can chant the Stuti while sitting in a focused manner. It need not be that you should have Devi's photo. Even if you have Devi's photo on your mobile phone or on your computer's or laptop, it will also work. But it is more conducive if you have a Devi photo. But the most important thing is the Stuti should be chanted with devotion.
lastly just create the exuberance atmosphere within and around you and invoke devi's grace by offering linga bhairavi aarti now what are the significance of doing this navratri sadhana now it deepens your bond with linga bhairavi devi and not only that you become available for her grace it creates a well being for yourself and also your family lastly if you want you can also bring devi vastram at your home now this devi vastram is not mandatory but if you bring there's no harm this vastram is of red color now the fire of the feminine is embodied in the fiery red color this vastram is a consecrated cotton threads that feels like a touch of a goddess herself keeping it at your place of worship or tie it around your head it will bless you with the grace of the divine feminine and brings good luck it's consecrated with the energy with the divine feminine it wards off the negative influences and brings good luck now it can be worn as a bandana around your head or your neck just like a scarf it can also be kept behind the linga bhairavi devi's photo or adi yogi statue in the puja room or just tie it outside the door or gate of the house to ward off negative influences one can even place it at the work desk to stay connected to the grace of devi or keep it inside your vehicle to have a safe and blessed journey if you haven't brought this vastram till now no worry you can buy it at any time at just rupees 40 from isha life store i'll give the link in the description if you want you can just go and buy it from there now hope you loved the video and found it valuable and surely we all together will join navratri sadhana now there is one request from my side we are trying to raise fund for the one who cannot do in a injury due to financial issues they cannot buy it although the cost has been reduced to just 4000 for english sessions and 2000 for regional language session but there are certain people who cannot afford it yet so we want your support to support us with whatever you can offer on the super thanks button present below the video in your screen and for today if you love the video and found it valuable do not forget to give it a like share and subscribe up to next stay safe healthy happy and namaskaram